So in this video, we will be uh, doing question 1.30 of a prescribed textbook. So in the question, they ask us to draw a histogram and they give us 20 points uh, which we need to use to create this histogram. So what is a histogram? So a histogram is just a, a visual representation of the data that we have and how it is distributed. So we can see if it's unimodal or bimodal, if it's left skewed, right skewed, uh, stuff like that we can see from the histogram. Okay, so to be able to draw the histogram, we have to consider the bin size and the number of bins. So the bin size, in this case, we can see that the minimum uh, amount of marks that we got was 57. We can see that the maximum was 94. So uh, if we take a bin size of about 5, that should be uh, large enough to give us at maximum uh, 10 bins. To get the number of bins, uh, we just take the maximum, 94, u minus the minimum, 57, so max minus min, and divide that by the bin size, which was 5. And that should give you 7.4, and you always round your bins, uh, number of bins up. We don't have a 0.4 for the bin, so that's 8. So we're going to have 8 bins. Uh, and the, how we distribute them are also uh, listed here. So we go from 56 to 60. The reason for that is that the minimum that we have was 57. And if we start at 56 and we go to 60, that should include uh, our minimum. We don't need anything uh, smaller than that. We also uh, just have to show you that the 60 here and the 61. So in this case, we work with integer numbers. So we have to have that jump from 60 to 61. If we were working with real numbers or anything with decimal places where we can have 60.0001, uh, for example, then uh, this would have been 60 as well. This would have just been included and that would have been excluded. Okay. So then we just need to determine how this data is uh, put into these bins. So basically you just count. You go between 56 and 60, there was only one case. Between 61 and 65, there was zero cases. Between 66 and 70, you can go with 66 and 69, which is above there, and you can go 1, 2. So if you do that for all of the data points, we get 4 in this bin, we get 5. Five, two, and one. Then, uh, since we now know how the data is distributed in these bins, we can just go and draw the histogram. Okay, so if we have to draw the histogram using these bins, we usually take the upper level of the bin and we write them out like this, because we know that whatever is between these, this part is that over there. Between that part is this bin over here. So now we see this part is 1. So we have to draw a little box like that for that first one because this bin only has one observation at full in it. The next part is 0. Okay, so we don't need to draw one. Then between 66 to 70, we have 2. So we just line up with 2. Go up. So this. Where we have four, we have two fives, we have a two again, and we have another one. Something like that. Okay, so here we see a much more accurately drawn version of a histogram which I just drew. Uh, if we look at the histogram, we can see that the distribution is unimodal. Uh, it is slightly left skewed because it kind of uh, has a kind of tail that comes out to the left side. And with a potential outlier number 57, 